Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another animal video and I am in a completely new spot and that is because I am currently at the beach on vacation in Gulf Shores, Alabama. So you may be probably being able to guess why I'm doing this video if you've ever been to a beach store, literally ever. It's horrible. Hermit crabs are severely abused here. It drives me insane. It breaks my heart every single time I come. And for some reason right now, all of the beach stores, their hermit crabs are free. It says free hermit crabs everywhere. Like they're just free. And when I went last night, there was just dead hermit crabs everywhere. There was like a couple of that were alive, but it looked horrible. And I will be filming what it looks like when I go get one, but they are taken care of so horribly right now that I cannot stand not to take some home with me because I just want them to have a good life. I've been doing research on hermit crabs for a very long time now, actually. I used to research about them when I was a kid. So I know a decent amount. Um, there's still a lot more research I need to do, but for right now I have what I need, especially at home, to take care of them. I'm also recording on my iPad because I didn't bring my camera with me because I wasn't gonna vlog, but then I saw how poorly they were taken care of and I needed to film it. So I went to the local PetSmart here in Alabama and I got some things just to I guess hold me over for right now. They come in like these little plastic containers so that's what they're gonna come home with me in. I don't have an enclosure or anything but I do have a 10 gallon tank at home that I will put them in. I'm gonna try to get two at least because they're like social animals but this is what I got so far for right now and I'm gonna get some sand from the beach and salt water from the beach because I'm at the beach. So for right now that's gonna have to work but I got this Reptiherm um, under tank heater. I'm not gonna put it under the tank, but I'm going to put it on the side of the tank. These are what I read is the best thing to do to keep like one side of the tank hot. And it's for a 10 to 20 gallon terrarium size and I have a 10 gallon. Since I'm getting two, eventually I'm gonna get a 20 gallon, for, but for right now I only have a 10 gallon. But I'm going to look for a 20 gallon once I get home. So for right now, this is what I'm using for the heat source. And feel free to leave any comments down below if you guys have hermit crabs and you know how to take care of them then feel free to comment down below and give me any tips because this is kind of a last second thing, I'm not gonna lie. But once I went into those stores and saw all the dead hermit crabs everywhere, it literally broke my heart to the point where I wanted to cry, so. Then I got this little bowl. It was on sale, actually. Um, I'm gonna put the food in it. It's just like a little wooden bowl. I got this cave. Um, this is just gonna be used as a little hide for right now because I know that they like to hide. But they also like to climb, so this would be a cool thing for them to climb on. And once I get home and go to like the pet stores near my house. I'm gonna get um, more stuff as well. This is just stuff that I could grab like last second. I also got a dual thermometer and humidity gauge. Um, this one's glow in the dark. It's one of those ones that are like pretty sucky, but I mean they didn't have any digital ones anywhere, so this is what's gonna have to work for right now. And keep in mind, I am going back home in like two days, so they're not gonna be with me like here without a big habitat for very long, but anything's better than what they're in right now, so. I also got some freeze-dried mealworms. Um, I'm gonna free them like fruits and vegetables and stuff but I read like freeze-dried mealworms work for them as well as like a protein. I also have live mealworms at home but these will work while I'm here. Then I got some tropical smagnum, spagnum, smagnum, I don't know how to say that, moss because I want to make like a little moss hide and I think they can eat it as well. So I just got this little three quart bag. Then the last thing I got is this natural loose coconut soil bedding. I'm going to mix this with sand. I have a whole bag of sand at home, but for right now, since I'm at the beach, I have a plethora of sand that I can use. So I'm just gonna get a bucket full of the sand from the beach and use that while I'm here. But when I get home, I'll be able to use the sand that I already have and I'm gonna make it where they can bury and they can at least have some type of substrate instead of just being on these like metal bars. So that's the stuff I got right now. Um, I don't know if I'm either going tonight to get two, one or two, I guess two, or tomorrow. But either way, I'm going to film what it looks like. I feel like this video needs to be like shared so people can see how horrible hermit crabs are treated. And I can't stand it. It's been like this since I was a kid. And when I was a kid, I didn't understand how abused they actually were, but it's horrible. And last year I came and there were turtles, like actual turtles at these beach stores. Anyway, I will keep you guys updated when I get the hermit crabs. Hopefully I can find one that's alive and hopefully it'll make the trip back home. But I've been wanting to rescue some for a while and I have, you know, things at home that I'll be able to take care of them with. I don't have to get too much other than what I've already gotten. And then once I get home, I need to buy like the instant ocean because they need salt water and fresh water at all times. 
So right now I have salt water, but at home I don't have anything to make salt water with because I don't live near the beach. I will keep you guys updated on when I go and get I just got back and I got these two. They were the most active and um, this one green shell doesn't seem as toxic as all the other shells. So that's why I grabbed these two. And then I also, the only two shells I was able to find are these, but I'm gonna go to like a Michaels back home or Amazon and order a bunch of shells because I know that I need, they need like four or five shells each. But I am currently, boiling some water. I'm going to put those shells in the water and then I'm going to set up this tiny enclosure just for them to be in for a day and I'm going to use some seawater and some sand. Last night, so I've got two bottles of seawater and a bucket full of sand and I tried to get the cleanest sand I could get. So there's that. And then I also have some fruits and veggies that I'm going to give them and hopefully everything turns out okay. But for right now, I'm just waiting for the water to boil so I can put these shells in. So I'm gonna put them in this big bowl while I'm trying to, you know, make this little enclosure. So here's the first one. Here's what he looks like, or she, I don't know. And then here is the other one. And they can't really do anything in this bowl. So maybe I'll give them some sand. There you go. Here's some sand. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna fill this up um, probably about halfway with some substrate for right now. And this is super tiny. Keep in mind that they were free. All I had to pay for was the stupid little expensive container. And they had one bigger, but it was $40 and I'm not spending $40 on a huge plastic bin. So they were free. All I had to pay for was this. That's absolutely ridiculous and stupid, but I guess you get what you get. I just got back from the beach like literally 30 minutes ago but I went ahead and got all of my tank stuff out and I'm gonna put the hermit crabs in it they did really good on the ride home we've got one little guy buried right here and then the other ones just chilling right here they did really great um, I made sure to keep their water bowl full and everything they had food they did go overnight so they're doing pretty good I went into my storage and found my 10 gallon tank and I'm gonna put it right here in my bedroom. I like having aquatic animals in my bedroom because I can watch them when like before I go to sleep and stuff. 
So I always like having them in here and I only had books on this half of my altar. So I just have half of my altar, you know, just be my crystals and things. And then I have my books on my bookcase. So there's a couple things I had in storage from when I owned my bed of fish and I'm gonna use some of them. So I found some freeze dried brine shrimp that I never actually used for my fish. And I know that hermit crabs like shrimp. So I figured I, you know, shouldn't waste them. And it doesn't expire, expire until next year, so it's good to use. Then I found this air pump that I had with all of this tubing, and I'm gonna try to make like a pool, like a bubbler pool. Um, I watched a couple videos on YouTube on how to do it, and I already knew that I had this little filter pump thing, so I knew I'd be able to do it pretty easily. So when I get like little air bubblers at the PetSmart either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna make like little air bubbler pool things for them. Then I just have this extra light. I had three lights, but this one is the one that's less like abrasive and in your face. So I got just this one that hooks up to like a USB and it, it's a pretty like calm light. It's not very bright or anything. I have a bottle of Prime, which is concentrated conditioner for marine and freshwater fish. I use this for my betta fish. It's amazing. It smells like crap, but it works really good. Bottles, these are gonna be my little pools. I couldn't find ones that were exactly the same, but it'll be good enough. So these are gonna be my two freshwater and saltwater pools. And then I had this thing from my fish. I might not put it in there. It is clean since I like boiled them and everything, but I just grabbed it because it might work. So I don't know. So basically I'm just gonna start filling this. This looks dirty, but I literally scrubbed it like four times, like after my fish passed away and just now. So it looks dirty, but I got this at a thrift store. So it's pretty, you know, run down and everything. And I believe it's a 10 gallon. I don't think it's bigger than that. But like I said, I got it at a thrift store, so I don't really know much about it. what it looks like right now um the tank seems pretty small so um eventually i'm gonna upgrade to a 20 or a 30 gallon just because this seems pretty small for the big things that i have but this will work for right now i have the freshwater bowl and i just put like this liner in it so they can climb it and a shell in there so they can you know step up on it just in case and then this is the salt water one and the same thing you know salt water and then i made their food so we've got some mustard greens, blueberries, chia seeds, brine shrimp, and apples. And then we've got one little hide over here and then their shells. And I know that they're climbers, so I'm gonna buy vines that go around the complete top of this enclosure so they can climb all around the vines. And then I'm gonna buy some stuff that I like suction cup to the side that I can put their shells in and stuff and put some moss in it to help with the humidity because um, they need really high humidity because they have gills. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside and I also need to get a lid for this. I don't really want to get a lid because I want to get a new enclosure, but I will use plastic wrap for right now just to keep the humidity in. So let's go ahead and put them inside. I don't even think I was filming when I put them inside, but I really hope I was. I don't think I was. That sucks. So if I wasn't, here is what the inside looks like right now. So they don't have names yet. I don't know their names, but the little little reddish one, he or she, it's, it's gender neutral. I don't know. <laughs> is the more active one. Likes to Kind of walk around more the green one is the more shy hermit crab which is completely fine so i put the heat mat over there at the side so that'll keep that side warm so they can bury down inside of it so hopefully that works and i know this thermometer hygrometer thing is like trash but it's the only thing i have right now so i'm either going to PetSmart today or tomorrow and i'm going to get a lot of vines and stuff for them to crawl around in hey guys it is the next day sorry it's kind of like an awkward angle my tripod's like broken so this is the only angle i can do it from on the floor <laughs> but i just went to a couple places i went to PetSmart, target michael's and i got some things because i have an idea i have this five gallon tank that i'm gonna stack 
on top of the 10 gallon tank and make like a two leveled enclosure because they like to climb. So that's what I'm gonna do. So from PetSmart, I got this. Um, natural chola wood that they can climb on. And then I got three of these small or medium hanging terrarium plants. I got three of those because it was the only thing they had because PetSmart never has anything. And then this is a fern leaf vine. These are like really soft vines and this one looks pretty cool. And it was the cheapest. So I got the cheapest vines that they had. The other vines were way too expensive. And then PetSmart didn't have instant ocean so i had to drive all the way to petco which is not close to where i am <laughs> and get some instant ocean so this is the 10 gallon instant ocean to make authentic sea salt ocean water so that is what i saw online so that's what i bought i think it was like ten dollars wasn't too bad and it'll last me a little while so then from michael's michael's has really good they're not they don't have really great seashells i was trying to find some seashells but i ended up having to order some online to get but they have really good like sea area like if you want to decorate like a condo at the beach or something so i was able to find this really nice like this like netting with it and it comes with little starfish so that's cute but i'm going to hang this across the side and make like little like ramps across so the hermit cra crabs can climb up it and it's kind of like i think that was ten dollars so i went ahead and just got the big one just in case then i also found this rope i don't know what i'm gonna use with it but it looked pretty cool so and then the last thing i got were these command strips i got this like pretty small ones to hold the vines and rope then from target I got some duct tape because I'm going to use the duct tape to <laughs> tape the two enclosures together. Hopefully it won't need duct tape, but just in case I just got white. Maybe I should have gotten a different color, but I just got white. And then I got this soap dish. I wish it was, I wish it was bigger, but it was the only one that they had. And basically it's just going to stick on the side and I'm going to make it like a little moss area and put some moss in it so the hermit crabs can cl climb up to the top of this and sit in it and it'll be really nice like humid area. I think this was like $2. And then I got this right here from the kitchen section. It's a drawer organizer, but I'm gonna put their seashells inside of it and maybe buy some suction cups online, some good suction cups, and maybe put some suction cups on it and just like hook it to the wall and put their seashells in it. Right now I only have two, but I did order some. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started. They did really good overnight. They haven't eaten anything still, but the humidity has stayed up pretty well and they've done pretty good. I've had to order some like plastic grating for the inside of like the water bowls. So that's coming in the mail. And then I also ordered some little stones, whatever they're called, like bubbler stone to put at the edge of my water filter. So it bubbles up in the water and it stays cleaner. And it kind of want to makes the hermit crabs want to go towards it. And at night, it'll be really relaxing to listen to the little water bubbles. So pretty excited. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Okay guys, I just finished decorating and I really like the way it came out with the things that I had. So we added on the second little layer here with some duct tape. It's pretty sturdy and then the little gaps I filled with multiple layers of shelf liner and duct tape. And the duct tape won't be where the crab can like get stuck on it or anything. And I did that on this side as well. And then I put all the vines up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see without the glare. I put the vines and the leaves all down this side and all the way down this back side right here so if they're in the water they can crawl up here and then here in the corner I have the little moss cave hidden in there so they can sit and be in it I guess <laughs> I couldn't really find a lid so I used shelf liner 
and I also have like layers of vining and this vine as well and then I didn't have any use for the rope so I just used the rope as decoration and just tied it around. So in here we've got the two water bowls. I'm still waiting for the bubblers to come in and the grate so when that comes in these will be changed out and they'll be all bubbly. We got a little guy right here. I'm gonna order some more shelves so don't be alarmed. There's gonna be a lot more shelves in there and then we have the wood right there which goes up to the second level. It actually like starts right at that second level right there and they'll be able to walk up in their food and the little hide. So I would say this enclosure is a total upgrade from the place that they were at before. I just have this little light that's kind of like holding down shelf liner. This is what I'm going to take off when I need to put stuff inside. But the humidity and everything has been staying pretty good. The other little hermit crab is under the hide and he's been in there under not overnight. So I'm not going to bother them too much. My little bowl to put their shelves in didn't fit in there. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get them in there. It's just my water bowls take up so much space of this little enclosure. So I might have to get like smaller bowls maybe and make a little bit more room to put their shelves around but it's fine I might be able to get a little bowl and put their shelves right here up here so they can crawl up and get that so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here if you have any tips or tricks or anything please comment down below no hate just you know constructive criticism because I could use all the advice I can get I kind of just like threw this together on my own whim really so I don't think it looks that bad for doing it so last minute. So if you have any recommendations, then comment down below. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.